wind turbines are getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Yep. So yep. manufacturing is getting obviously more complex transportation of just like single blades that are now, you know, 107 meters long, getting yeah. more difficult. So, but then once they're up and running, hopefully they're reducing a lot of the, uh, the upkeep and they're just pumping out more power for less, you know, less wind windmills out there. So, yeah. Um, what are some of the challenges that some of the scale is, is providing the industry? Well, the first, from a, just a operation standpoint, you're going to have to transport these things and, and you're going to end up building new factories. So like the LM factory that has been just being built, um, that's making the Hallier blade for general electric. So the new factory in Normandy, France, uh, you're going to put it somewhere where you can get next to the shipping dock so you can get the blades on a ship and take them where they eventually will end up at. So you got to, in a sense, you got to build a lot of expensive infrastructure to make blades that big. Um, and then obviously from the design standpoint, you, you really want to make those blades last as long as you can. So from the lightning protection standpoint, uh, you really want to do a lot of testing on it and make sure that they're going to perform as you think they are. As when the blades get to, 107 meters <laughs> yeah. they're not me right that's a, in the united states that's a football field right it, that is a long way and it, it obviously it makes the total diameter about 200 meters uh, when the blade's spinning around it that's a, that's a big area uh when the blades get that big they're going to be using carbon fiber in those blades because that you need more fiber strength because of the way the the weight and the load is um, so some part of those blades will have carbon fiber in them in a in a spar to stiffen them up where they can handle the loads um, you know that's that's a huge deal putting carbon fiber in any sort of blade because it's conductive and lightning energy tends to go down to anything that's conductive right it's parallel paths there's a down conductor in there i'm sure and then some part of that energy is going to get to the carbon fiber and how do you handle the lightning energy going into it, lightning energy going out of it. Uh, 